Well, Secretary Blinken declaring that a new diplomatic mission in Afghanistan has begun, but it will be a mission carried out from afar, Shep, because Secretary Blinken confirming just now that the U.S. will not maintain a permanent diplomatic presence on the ground in Kabul, Afghanistan, uh, anymore, instead transferring those operations to Doha, Qatar. Now, that's not entirely unprecedented. For example, for years in Somalia, when it was too dangerous for the U.S. to operate there, uh, the U.S. carried out consular operations instead. Uh, from Kenya. Hanging over all of this, of course, the question of who is left behind. Both the Americans, with officials telling us they believe less than 250 are still there, either people who haven't decided they want to leave yet uh, or people who, in some cases, have already made their way out of the country but that the U.S. just doesn't know about yet. And then, uh, as far as our Afghan allies, difficult to pin down a number, but likely thousands, if not tens of thousands, still there. As far as how they're going to get out, Afghanistan is a landlocked country. There's only two ways out. There's through the air, and you heard Blinken talking there about potentially having other countries run some type of charter flights. And, of course, then there are the land borders and the possibility the U.S. could try to facilitate uh, folks getting out of Afghanistan through the border with Pakistan or the Central uh, Asian nations. Uh, Biden will speak tomorrow afternoon, the White House says, about Afghanistan. We are told that he learned of the fact that the final U.S. flight had left Afghanistan uh, when he was in the Oval office and his national security advisor was passed a note uh, that he then told Biden that all troops were out of Afghanistan as President Biden continues to face growing questions about how he executed this withdrawal from America's longest war with one senior State Department official telling us today we all thought we had more time. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.